Hey there, Chelsea here, Monarch Alley. I'm a vintage lover, thrifter, and part-time reseller. And today I have my weekend what sold video for you where I'm going to go over sales Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's the 13th through the 15th, on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, and eBay. I'm really excited. I had what for me was a really good weekend of over $150 in sales. Um, and I can't wait to go over some tactics and some communication strategies that really helped boost my sales this weekend. Let's do it. So Facebook Marketplace was actually really hopping for me this week. I made a ton of sales over there. And so the first item that I have to share with you is something that's sold on Facebook Marketplace and it was the result of communicating with the buyer. So this is really cool. It's an antique soda bottle. I don't know. It says Scarborough Aerated Water Company, Clifton Street. I have had this listed for quite some time. It's like a ceramic bottle. Like I don't I don't know. Anyway, it was very, very cool. I picked it up for like three bucks at the thrift and I've had it listed for quite some time. I think I started even around $40 just to see what would happen and have slowly been price dropping it because clearly no one wanted it for that price. Um, I had it listed for 20 on Facebook marketplace and the buyer reached out to me asking if I would do 15. I, ex I said, absolutely. Yes, I will do that and offered to go ahead and price drop the item for them whenever they were ready. The thing about price dropping on Facebook Marketplace is that it doesn't instantly work. When you price drop an item, uh, so this is just like a tip for everyone to be aware. When you price drop an item or make an edit to an item, Facebook does a quick review of it again. It usually, usually only takes a minute or two, and so it doesn't usually matter if you're just editing the description, but when you have a buyer that is actively trying to purchase something, they may actually have trouble seeing or viewing the listing after you make that edit. So that's something to be aware of. So for this, for example, I dropped it to $15 and then um, the buyer messaged me saying, what happened? I can't see the listing anymore um, because I had just shared that I dropped the price. So I let them know that after a few minutes, it should be out of review and they should be able to make the purchase and not to fret. Um, I think they were worried that maybe someone else snatched it up, which was not the case. So anyway, we messaged a couple times and I was checking on it as well. And when I saw that it was no longer under review, I let the buyer know that it was ready for purchase and they purchased right away. So they paid $15 for that antique soda bottle and $9 shipping. And I feel really excited to be able to send that out this week. I just think it's such a cool find and a cool item. The next item that I have to share with you is also a Facebook Marketplace success story, and it's about relisting. So this is a vintage 90s um, Christmas village house. So it plugs in, it lights up, I uh, it does work, and I took pictures of it with the lights on and off so people could see what it looks like, but isn't this cool? I really like it. I got this for free from my mom, which she does not decorate in this way. So who knows who gave it to her, but it's really cute. Um, and I was excited to get it listed. I had this listed on all the platforms as well. And it was actually getting good attention on multiple platforms. eBay, uh, it had some watchers, uh, Poshmark, it had some likers, but on Facebook marketplace, people were really going wild for this as they have with other Christmas decorations. So if that's something that you source and list, you really may consider putting that stuff on Facebook marketplace because it seems to get a lot of quick attention. So that Christmas village house had had multiple people ask me where I live, um, which is a little creepy, but you know, they're just trying to figure out if they can do pickup because they want to avoid the shipping fee, I think. <laughs> and I, I get that, but I needed to ship it out. Um, so it was getting so much attention. I price dropped it a time or two to hoping someone would just snatch it up after a price drop and that never happened. So this Friday night, I decided to go ahead and delete the listing and relist it, hoping to get some new eyes on it. So when I did that, I had it, I think I had it listed for $18. I deleted it. And then I just relisted it using List Perfectly, which is a cross listing service that I use. If you're interested in trying it out, I have a 30% off discount code in the description box below. But I just went into my eBay listing and quickly listed it over to back to Facebook Marketplace. So just to circle back, sorry, I am not an educator, but I'm doing my best. I deleted the listing on Facebook Marketplace where it was getting the most attention. I then went into my eBay store, found the listing and cross-listed it using List Perfectly right back into Facebook Marketplace. After doing that, I started making dinner. I opened up my Facebook app 20 minutes later and it had sold, oh my goodness. New eyes, no more people asking like where I live, if they can pick it up, someone just outright bought it and for the new price of $25. So I sold that like brandless Christmas village item. I'll show, show it to you again. 
for $25 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. I definitely think one thing that helped us sell was that Facebook Marketplace was doing a promotion where they were paying shipping for a lot of items. So it actually shows up on the receipt that the buyer received free shipping, but it does not come from my profits. So their um, seller's fee is only 5%. So I made a really good profit off this on Facebook Marketplace and it only happened because I relisted it. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna try that out with a few other items that have gotten a lot of views, but no official bites. Okay, so that was fun. Definitely try that out. If you're not selling a Facebook Marketplace, you might try listing items like that um, over there. The next item that I have is not quite as big of a win, and honestly, I'm a little sad to see it go because this is a little Halloween outfit that my son wore. Look at this cute little Cat and Jack from Target um, Halloween outfit. So it has ghosts and pumpkins, and then the pants have little like pumpkin knees. They're so cute. And I remember him being this little to wear it. Um, but yeah, I had this listed for a while. This is also actually a relisting success story because I had this listed in on Mercari. It was getting a ton of attention. Um, and so you would think it'd be Kittison, right? But no, Mercari, was, it was getting a ton of attention. So I actually deleted it, relisted it for $14 with free shipping and someone made the purchase about maybe a week or two later. So it wasn't an instant success story, but to be able to sell this outfit for $14 that my son wore over and over, that's incredible. And I'm really excited to be able to send that out. I think shipping will cost me about $3. So in all, I'll probably make $9 off that outfit. Not a huge flip, but it's just getting rid of stuff in my house. The next item that I have is this amazing, gorgeous velvet blazer. Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. I had high hopes for this baby and it's been listed forever and price dropped and price dropped. Finally, it sold outright for $15, which is way less than I wanted to get for it. I think it was last fall. I was just having a lot of success with blazers. And so then I picked up quite a few <laughs> extras and those sat. So maybe I missed the window. So what I'm going to do is relist the couple others that I have. But yeah, this is just a gorgeous red velvet blazer. I think it's so cool. And it has um, shoulder pads as well. I love it. So that sold on Poshmark for $15. So my earnings are $12 after um, Poshmark fees. Next are a couple of quick flips. Um, the first one, oh, sorry, let me get is from my most recent um, haul video where I went to the bins in Colorado with Kathy from Ginger Marvin. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. She shares a lot of great content. This is a Vera Bradley purse that I picked up at the bins. Wait, was that the bins? Yes, it was at the bins. <laughs> and I just listed it this week. So that haul came out um, last week and I just listed it a few days later and it has already sold. Now I will say that I priced it aggressively because I know there's a lot of Vera Bradley stuff out there. I had a price for, I think, $20 on eBay, um, and someone offered me $15, and I accepted that offer. So $15 for a Vera Bradley purse is definitely a good deal, but when I look at comps, they're all over the place, and I didn't know what to expect. So I think the buyers can be really happy with that purchase um, and that great deal, and I made, you know, I probably paid a dollar for this at the bin. So I think all in all, happy flip here. So yeah, and I did charge them shipping as well. So that will not come from my profits. So $15 for that Vera Bradley purse. And then I have a Poshmark bundle that like never happens y'all. I don't understand how people make bundle sales on Poshmark. Maybe it's because my items are too eclectic or I don't have enough. I currently have close to 300 listings in my Poshmark closet and a 30% off discount, um, automatic discount. Anyway, another communication strategy here was that it was closet clear out, uh, typically on, I think Wednesdays, maybe Fridays, and then definitely Sundays, Poshmark does their closet clear out day, which means that as a seller, you can reduce the price of an item by at least 10%. And everyone that likes that item will be notified of the price reduction and will also receive a shipping discount, which if you know anything about Poshmark shipping, that's a really big deal because $8 is like the flat rate, no matter what you're getting. Um, even if you're shipping something that could cost maybe $3. So for a buyer to be able to get a shipping discount is definitely a big deal. But typically when you send an offer, that shipping discount comes from your profits and it can really eat into your profits really quickly. So um, on closet clear out days, it's great to send messages asking people that have liked the item that day if they're interested in receiving a shipping discount if you reduce the price. So then they get a deal and it doesn't come from your profits. So I was doing a bit of that on Sunday the 15th, um, trying to get some closet clear out sales. And one person actually responded to my message 
um, and said, well, hey, how much would it be if I bundle this and this? So I had sent them a message about this Fair Bradley jewelry case here, which was also in my bins haul. So that's pretty cool. Another quick flip, it sold in a few days. Um, this is a travel jewelry case. You can see more about it in my haul. And they had liked this and I said, hey, you'll get reduced shipping if I reduce the price of this item. And then they said, well, what if I bundle it with this? So this is from my Colorado haul. <laughs> All my new stuff is selling really well, guys. I'm really happy about it. So you can, I have a whole playlist of thrift hauls. Definitely check out my Colorado hauls. There's part one and part two with the bins. And then um, I also have a collaboration video as I was preparing to travel. That stuff's doing really well. But anyway, this purse was, was from my Colorado haul part one. And it's just a really cute straw bag by Ink. INC. Uh, I guess it's a Macy's brand. And so the person bundled these two items. Um, so I actually did end up paying for that shipping discount because instead of just price reducing one item, they got the 30% off. And then I was communicating back and forth with the buyer and offered to, on my own, provide the shipping discount. So that did come from my profits. But all in all, I made about 20, oh, I didn't put down, I made about $20 on this. The bundle came to $30. And after Poshmark fees and shipping discount, I made about $20, $22 off these two items that in all probably cost me about eight, I think. So pretty good flip. And it's just fun to sell a bundle and to sell two cute items like that together. Like I'm picturing this person like jet setting about the country with their cute new straw bag um, and travel case, I don't know. Okay, I'll stop rambling. Um, but yeah, communication, it's been all communication this weekend, talking to um, buyers on Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark. In fact, this next sale is my last sale um, of this video, and it's also some communication with the buyer. So these are some shoes, um, dance goes, that are like these really cool kind of gladiator heeled sandals. I don't know what, they're, they're just cool. I think they're really neat. I had them listed for $30 um, on, you know, the various platforms and for closet clear out i sent a message to a, a liker that day asking if they would be interested in them for 24 with discounted shipping they actually messaged me back and asked if i would do 20 and i said i could do 22 <laughs> because these are really nice and they're really cool and dance goes are a quality brand so um anyway the person accepted my offer 22 and so i did the price reduction and she said um okay so how does this work like do i just accept your offer i'm like just you'll you'll get the shipping discount because you liked it. Uh, check your email, accept the offer. Yes. So she said she did it and it worked. <laughs> so I think it was a newer um, buyer on Poshmark, which Poshmark can be kind of tricky for new buyers. But anyway, these are going out. Um, I sold them for 22 and my earnings were 1760 after Poshmark fees. So super cool. These are actually from my collaboration video, um, like a thrift to travel collaboration video that I did with Becky Park and other members of her YouTube mentorship group. Um, I actually wanted to just kind of shout out and show off like the earnings that I've made so far from that video. If you want to watch it, it's um, in my, I'll put it above and in the description below. But the collaboration video alone, I have $267 in sales so far. I still have quite a few items to list and well, not quite a few, maybe like 10 items to list and there are other items listed, but I'm really happy with my um, sales so far from that video, $267 with an earnings of 225. And the whole goal of that video was to be able to pay for our road trip to Colorado in which I also thrifted while I was there and have already sold multiple items from those thrift trips. So I'm just feeling really good about my recent pickups, y'all. Like if you want to check out those videos, um, I think you'll get some good bolos. You'll get some good info on brands that are selling right now, as you'll see from this What Sold video. And I hope that it provides a lot of value to you. So in the end, uh, communicate with your buyers, relist some stuff and definitely list your death pile stuff guys it's working for me and i think it'll work for you too um i can't wait to see you in the next one and i appreciate you so much drop a comment below like subscribe do all the things i appreciate you all right i'll talk to you later bye